like this, Jimé, okay? The question is, Jimé, what if you could travel in time, Jimé? What would you do, Jimé, if you could travel in time? Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> Probably I pack my stuff. <laughs> I my bag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, will I uh, get happily about it? Um, <laughs> yes. Um, I, I mean, will you get happy because of that, Jimé? Yes, well, I never traveled in my life. Well, only with my grandparents when I was child. I visited Hidalgo and Morelia, and that's all. That's all because uh, they uh, had um, family in these places. Okay. So I only stayed um, there uh, visiting the family, but I always stayed in 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 house and um, sometimes we um went to um balnearios es, este, ah, to um, public swimming pools to public ah, public, public swim swim pools okay um, and that's all well it's only that i do i used to do when I was child. So mm -hmm. I never travel alone uh, by myself. No? Uh, more, more, um, well, other places. I and never go other places. Only when I uh, visit uh, Plan Manalco, Veracruz. Okay. But it was for the school. So I remember that I, um, that I look around and I uh, hiking around the places. Okay. And yes. that's all. But I never take time uh, for me or with or for what well, with other friends to travel. With other friends. With other, with other friends. friends. <laughs> okay. But uh, Hime, imagine. I said, why did you could travel in time? It means that you can travel to the past or to the future. Will there be him? Will there be something? Will there be anything, him? Anything that you would like to change from your past? For example, something, something that the present him could travel to the past and tell the past him, maybe when him is um, 12 years old, when him um, is, I don't know, 15 years old, maybe that you you would like to tell yourself something like uh, don't worry too much of life or don't stress out because of this okay would you like to do to, to that Jimé? Mm, well if i have the opportunity to speak with myself time ago, with a with a younger uh, with a younger you know, when i was younger yes. i like to say to me that um don't worry all oh, it's fine you need to be you need to get more courage in your life you need to be more more um, security security uh -huh. security or, by yourself okay and and study study do all the stuff that you do you love and that's all <laughs> very good okay what about you Anna? What would you do, Anna, if you could travel in time, Anna? I don't know, teacher. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know because all, thing, all things I have lived are, uh, has, have been, um, clave, how do you say clave? Maybe have been, a key, have been a key. Have been a key to or be, a, uh -huh. to be the person that today I am. Okay. Um, I, I didn't, no, I don't, no, I, 
I I wouldn't do anything to change. Liliana? Yes, teacher, I... I mean, Anna, isn't there, I mean, isn't there anything in you in your past with younger Anna when, when Anna was, I don't know, 15 years old, when Anna was uh, 10 years old? Would you, would you like Anna, to travel in time, back in time, and to give you some advice to yourself? Like, uh, don't do this or don't, um, don't, know, don't spend too much time on, on this. Would you like to do that, Anna? Maybe no when I was a child, but I I could say um, to Anna um, uh, 20, uh, 18 years, okay. um, go out with its friends uh, more because... <laughs> more? Yes. <laughs> no, because I I go out with them, but I'm in in excess. How do you say in excess? Excess. 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 Uh -huh. uh, uh, responsible. Uh, I prefer stay study or or doing homework uh, while uh, other people was uh, um, going out or in a party or things like that. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't, I didn't live uh, many, many times, uh, many, no, many, ay, se me fue la palabra. Yes, um, more, more moments, no? Ah, uh, yes, uh, more moments uh, like that. Uh, maybe I, Maybe can you change just this? Okay. So now you are saying that you are excessively responsible. Yes, teacher. Or maybe when I was studying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Yes, okay. Interesting. 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 Okay. Okay, my friend. So listen, I'm going to show you a video, okay, about this, this topic, okay, about uh, traveling in time and... What if we have, for example, a, a, time, a time machine, okay? So let's watch the video, okay? So let me share the screen, okay? There. Okay, there, okay. Being able to travel to any point in time, where would you go? And what would you do? You could witness some of the greatest moments in history or even change history. You could travel into the future. Or you could even save John F. Kennedy from being assassinated. This is what if. And here's what would happen if you owned a time machine. So how could we travel through time? Well, no one that we know of has figured this out yet, but physicists have a couple of theories about how we might do this. It can involve us either traveling at the speed of light jumping through a black hole, or some other crazy method. And yes, though it is theoretically impossible to travel back in time, let's just say we can do it anyway. Oh, and also, we won't be jumping through any black holes. Instead, we're giving you a magical pocket time machine that can take you to any point in time. So what's your first stop? Naturally, you'd probably want to go to some of the most critical moments in human history. Maybe you'd want to go to World War II and see what it was really like. You could prevent things like Pearl Harbor from ever happening by informing the Americans that the Japanese are going to attack. It's unlikely they'll believe you, considering you're a complete stranger, but who knows? If successful, you could end up saving millions of lives. Or if you're not that bold, you could just sit back and live in the world. Grab a drink with some soldiers or just hang out in the 1940s and avoid the war altogether. For our next stop, let's go help tear down the Berlin Wall. You won't necessarily be influencing this part of history, but you'll certainly be a part of it. How cool is that? And after this, we can go further back in time to Paris in the late 1800s. 
Then, let's jump forward a bit and hang out with the Beatles. Now that was all fun and good, but it's probably time to head back to your current day. But when you get back, you notice that the world looks a bit different. Earthquakes are happening, radiation is everywhere, and cities are completely destroyed. You're now living in an apocalypse. This is due to the butterfly effect. You may have heard of this before. The classic example is that a butterfly on one side of the world in the Jurassic Age can cause a tornado to happen in 2004. Now, obviously, butterfly wings can't directly cause a tornado, but this example shows that all actions in the past have consequences in the future. No matter how big or little, all actions will ripple through space and time. Of course, killing baby Hitler or showing people cell phones in the past before they're invented will greatly impact the future. That much is obvious when we look at huge turning points in history. What's not so obvious is the idea that any little thing we do impacts the future. So let's say we don't participate in World War II or stop any crazy events from happening. We just go to the past and simply observe, walk around, maybe even buy a coffee. When we come back to our current time, things might still look vastly different than when you left. If you simply exist in the past, it can alter and change things in the future, no matter how little you do. Here's an example of the butterfly effect potentially at work in our real world. The U.S. rail system is an oddly specific size of four feet and eight and a half inches wide. Why is that? Well, the people who built the railroads were used to making wagons that were that size. The wagons originally came from England where they made them that specific size due to grooves in the road. If the wagons were any wider, they could get damaged, so they settled on four feet, eight and a half inches. The reason the roads were this way was because 2,000 years before this, Roman chariots made these first roads as they were conquering the area. And the reason the chariots were this size? Because it was the size needed for two horses to fit on a single chariot. So when you think about the reason the United States has railroads like this, it's because of horses. More specifically, the size of their butts. This just goes to show how decisions we made in the past, no matter how little or inconsequential they might seem, could seriously change the future. We can also think of it as the decisions we're making right now will greatly impact the future. So what if watching this video today is preventing a world war hundreds of years from now? And what if, instead of being a time traveler, you met one? Well, that sounds like a story for another What If. Very good. So, welcome, Greece. Welcome. The topic in um, Greece was what if um, you could travel in time, Greece? Okay. What would you do, Greece, if you could travel in, in time, Greece? Oh. Uh... I don't know, teacher. <laughs> Probably like the I... video show, you, you have a small watch, okay, and you just uh, click on, on the watch, okay, to the year you want to go. What year would you like to go, please? Uh, probably uh, 2013. 2013, that is seven yes. years ago. Okay. Yes. Why that year, Gris? What happened uh, bec Because I I was at middle school. Okay. And for me, was uh, uh, it was the best um, age of my life. <laughs> well, I was happy. This, this I have until, until now, no? until now, because you are very young, yes. no, until now. Yes. <laughs> I was with my friends. Okay. I see him every day. Okay. So you, you like that, that year? Yes, teacher. Very good. Okay. Chris, and um, would you like to travel to the future? Uh, yes. <laughs> Maybe yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. What year in the future, Chris? Um... 
Um, I don't know, probably uh, I will travel uh, 100 years after. 100 years more? That is yes. um, 2,120? Yes. <laughs> okay. I want to I want to see uh, what will happen. For example, probably I don't know. I will live uh, for I don't know uh, fifty years more. Okay. But in one hundred years, I I couldn't I couldn't see what will happen. Okay. So you, you would like to witness, you would like to witness the future. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. Um, very good. What about you? Um, what about you, Anna? Would you like to travel to the future, Anna? Mm, yes, teacher. Yes. What what year in the yes. future? Um, I don't know. Um. Maybe twenty forty, maybe. Two thousand and forty, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Why why and why that year? Um why? Uh twenty forty because I I think at this year I could see if I'll I'll be married, I have uh, children. Uh, I, I'll i be alone. I don't know, teacher. Very good, okay, very good, okay. Anna, do you think that in that year, 2040, do you believe that we still have problems with COVID? With what? With COVID. Ah, COVID. <laughs> um, yes, teacher. Oh, Anna, but it's 20 years. <laughs> yes, but, but COVID is like, influ uh, like flu. Like flu. Influenza. Wow, really? uh -huh. like, like influenza. It's like a uh -huh. swine flu. Swine flu. Influenza. Yes, it's like swine flu. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, <sighs> I, <laughs> I forget the words, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it's a disease. It's, it's a enfermedad. Uh -huh. enfermedad. Enfermedad, yes. Disease. Yes, uh, it's a disease that arrived to to stay with us all life. Uh, really? Well, yes, Anna, teacher. I mean, uh, one thing is having flu. What, another thing is having swine flu. But another worst thing, and I used to have COVID. I have a brother, and he lives in Veracruz. He's uh, five years older than I am. Okay, he's my step brother. And uh, two weeks ago, sorry, last month, he suffered from COVID. He didn't go to hospital, but he was a struggle mm -hmm. in a big struggle with his body. Right now, he's better. He wasn't intubated, but right now he's better. But the consequences, Anna. And for oh, everybody, his lungs, I lo voy a en el chat, por si no lo recuerdan, sus pulmones, his lungs are damaged. They are damaged to 40%. So the usable, the, the usable, ahí está, the usable part of the lungs is 60%. So it's, it's different, Anna, no? I mean, you have the flu, yes, you, can, you have a sore throat, you cough, yes, and that's good, okay, but, you have no consequences of that. Yes, Jimé? Well, I'm agree with Anna uh, about oh, really? uh, that, that it's, uh, it's like a, a flu. Obviously, it's, in, it's really different. I mean, we are going to get these uh, dishes all time and all time in the future because okay. it's, uh, it's for a virus. Uh, no, the science um, don't have any idea to classify at virus. The virus is in life, but isn't died. The virus is um, um, 
well, the virus for us is rare. It's strange because we don't know how to how to get um a treatment or a vaccine treatment. effective a treatment of vaccine efficient mm. to 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 eradicate to uh -huh, uh -huh. To, to, to eradicate its, to take its away. virus yes to take away mm -hmm. to take away this virus so when uh, Anna refer at COVID like a flu because you get at the same symptoms, but these symptoms are more um, dangerous. Yeah? More dangerous, no? Yes, are more dangerous because your body don't have enough um, in, 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 uh, immune uh, immune in, in about this virus. Yeah, okay. you don't have enough um, tools to defend your body of this virus. So when the virus coming in your body, um, you can get a big um, disaster, a big uh, hurt, yes. because your body isn't prepared about it. So mm. the difference is that depends much of you are doing when you get uh, the virus. Wow. If you it healthy and if you try to less the the um, um temperature the uh -huh. yes temperature yes. you can get um feel most better early okay and isn't is isn't the same in a child in a in a in a child and mo and woman and men and a grand uh, person it it's really different and it's depend at of all of um dishes that you that you have if this oh, yes, person yes. have a lot of a, a lot of dishes it's more probably that this person died but this person it's healthy um this person could be like but it depends uh, um, of your genetic. If you have some um, dishes that you don't know, obviously, yes. obviously you can get more uh, bad and you can uh, get a lot of uh, hurt uh, in your body. It's exactly, it's exactly. Yes, but um, I mean, it's, it's really, really a bad disease, huh? Yes, yes. Oh, very good. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so listen, I have another question for you. The last question for today, okay? Listen. Uh, what about Greece? The question is, Greece, what if Greece, what will it happen, Greece? What if you never age? Yes, what if Greece, what if you never age? If I never age, uh, uh, I okay. can be <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why I you never know. age? <laughs> Probably, um, I don't know. Probably, I think. <laughs> yes. I could use uh, any clothes. Okay. Because I don't know when, when other people use well, no, I don't know probably the hair of colors and these kind of things yes. they look um, strange <laughs> okay um, young people do but it's more common um, and people don't uh, how do you say critical criticize they they don't criticize uh, tanto. <laughs> so much, okay. <laughs> so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good point, huh? That's a good point, okay. Very good. What about Anna? Anna, what what if you never age, Anna? I don't know. 
<laughs> it means that you, your family, your family age, okay. Yes, I, uh, but I, you, I, you are still young. I that could be um, sad because because I I would see all my family, all my friends to age. And I, yes, I may, uh, maybe I know more people, uh, but but I I see my my family die. Yes, yes, exactly. And, yes. And I think that is the the worst part. If I don't, no, if I. Yes, if I don't age. If I didn't age. If I didn't, I, if I age. didn't age. Yes. Okay, okay. What about you, what about you, Jime? What, Jime, if you never age, Jime? Um, I don't know. It depends. Uh, for example, if I never age, but I'm going to live the same time, I mean, I'm going to live at, at I don't know, 100, no? Yes. Uh, but I look like, uh, like I look now. Yes, exactly. Yes. So I probably, yeah, yeah. I live, yes, I, I, I feel happily about it because I never look at my face um, old, yes. and I, and I, and I can look like, uh, well, I can feel much better, much get more, more, um, how to say it, um, este, este como más este ah, <laughs> como más um, get more security about myself okay so you're but, saying yes uh -huh, but if you refer that I never edge that I'm going to live all forever I'm going to be immortal I probably like um I don't know I can I could um feel um sadly about it because I'm going to look at my old family died and my friends and in when part of my life when in I don't know um, 100 years I could get um, a psychology um, eyeglass because uh -huh. I, I, I could be uh, crazy about it no I could look a lot of stuff. I could look. Um, I could look the change of the of all the world, and I could uh, feel really bad about it because I I only look um, bad stuff because I don't have uh, anyone um, in my side. I, exactly, exactly. So you're saying, Himeta, you would like to live forever? Ah, uh, well, I don't like it only if i only going to live alone uh -huh. i don't like it because i could feel bad about it and i don't like to look how the humanity um how you say it um kill the war yes uh -huh. or destroy the war huh? destroy the war I don't like to look it. No? No. <laughs> okay. What about you, Anna? Would you like to live forever, Anna? No, teacher. <laughs> no? Imagine, no. Anna. Never get sick, never die, never feel pain, and no, live forever. To live, to live forever doesn't mean I don't... I'll, I won't be no. I won't be sick. I won't suffer. That that doesn't mean teacher. <laughs> no. No. Come on, Anna. So, Anna, would you like to to live? I don't know, three hundred years, four hundred years. No, teacher. No. <laughs> Come on, Anna. Seven, no? Seventy at most. No, no, seventy is too short, Anna. No, Anna, seventy is too short time. Okay. No, teacher. At, at least a hundred. <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Okay. It's too much. Okay. What about you, Gris? Would you like to live forever, Gris? No, teacher. Ah, neither? Neither. <laughs> Come on, Gris. Why not, Gris? 
or, or, or well, it's live until you are 300 years old, 400 years old. No. No? <laughs> <It's too much. laughs> Come on. Come on, Gris. What about you, teacher? Well, Anna, one of my dreams, okay, one of my crazy dreams, Anna, well, I have two crazy dreams, okay. Number one, my crazy desires, more, more better say. Number one, I would like to live forever, or I would like to live 500 years old. I know it's impossible, but um, that is what I, what I would like to do. It's a lot of time, no? Well, I mean, <laughs> like, like 500 years, years time? It's, it's 500 not. years old, yes. <laughs> yes? It's, yes, I, well, you can look a lot of new generations, but I probably you don't look, you can't feel um, enough um, satisfied about it because uh, you look, you can look something that you don't like to look. Well, obviously, yes, many things for sure, many things, okay, yes. But imagine watching the future 500 years more, okay, that would be amazing, okay, that would be lovely. Wouldn't you, you like to live the future in 500 years more? I don't know. Well, I mean, I prefer live 100, 100, or, <laughs> or, or less. I don't know. Oh, because come on. I don't. Well, yeah. I prefer. But I, but I wanna, yes. Um, get old, but look like I'm. Um, that I right. look now. Uh, yes, yeah, I look today. Okay. What about you, listen? What? What age would, would you like to live this? For Anna, 70. For Jime, 100. <laughs> what about for you, Gris? Oh, 60. 60? 60. Come, no. <laughs> no, Gris. 60. 60, 60 years old is very, very young, Gris. <laughs> yes, it was. I, I don't know. Um, I don't imagine good more, good more age. No? It's difficult to me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, imagine, imagine teacher. Yes. Now you have friends, family, but if you are immortal, okay. you you are see him die. Obviously, yes. And it will be difficult for you. <laughs> and in a moment, you will be alone. Well, many moments, Gris, no? Many moments, yes. Exactly. That, that's a good point, Gris, huh? Exactly, that's a good point. Yes, yes okay. Yes. Even if you know new people... Yes. Um, it's the same history. It's true. It's true, okay. What about you, Anna? Do you agree with Gris, Anna? Yes, teacher, that is the reason that I I don't I wouldn't like to live uh, many years. No, okay. Okay, yes. okay, okay. What about you, Kimen? Do you agree with Anna and Gris? Well, I like to live more. I mean, if 16 and 17 years, it's really young. I like okay. to leave uh, enough time to do all the stuff that I want to do. And well, and to get time to spend time with myself, with my couple or with my children, if I, if I have children or with my pets. I mean, when I get old, I like to spend time um, in pace. Exactly, exactly, good. Very good, excellent. Good point, my friends. Okay, my friends, so let's stop here. Okay, the time is going to be over. Please finish and do the activities on, on from Yammer. Please screenshot the, the results and share that with me on Yammer, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. My friends, if you have questions, please write to me on WhatsApp, okay? Yes, yes. Very good, my friends. So thank you very much, my friends. Thank you very much. See, see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you, teacher.